Okay, everybody, so here's part 19 of our playthrough of the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy. Nicholas. I've improved my deck a little bit since the last time. Boom, boom, self-destruct deck. Well, as usual, put Scyther out front. And Chan and Electabuzz. I won't use this deck too much more because, in a way, it kind of breaks the game, just like in real life. And I play second. Especially in this club, unless they have something that resists fighting like a Zapdos, it's really easy to. Just mow things down with Hitman Chan. So the Magmite he has active is, again, another one of the Game Boy cards. Never existed in real life, uh, but here it is in the game. It has 40 HP. Two attacks. One of them is Tackle for 10, one colorless energy. The other one is. Uh, Magnetic Storm, remove all energy cards attached to all of your Pokémon, then randomly reattach each of them. Kind of weird, not probably very useful, but it's there nonetheless. In any case, let's play Bill. So coughing. Here's one we haven't seen before. Coughing, it's a grass type. This is well before they switched poison Pokemon to Psychic. And it has 50 HP, it has a 2 grass energy attack, 10 damage. And uh, this one has an always does a special condition, but it varies. If you get a heads, the defending Pokemon is now poisoned. If tails, they are instead confused. So either way, you get a special condition. Still, for two grass, not really all that great. Do I have an energy removal? No, I don't. I could play the Professor up, but I've got some decent stuff in my hand, so let's power up an Electabuzz. Wait, wait, what am I thinking? Let's uh, put a double colorless on Hit and Chan and attack with Special Punch. There we go! Attach lightning energy to Electabuzz, just in case. One, not oh, just ten. And we'll finish it up on my next turn with a plus power and a special punch. And that's it. We still have a, quite a bit of time left this video, so I think I'll go ahead and challenge Isaac. The club leader.
club master, I should say. Let's go ahead and duel him. Six prize match. Zapping self-destruct deck. So let's see, what do we start with here? Just one Pokemon. That's not uncommon, even though there are 12 basic Pokemon in this deck. Hmm, we go second. Now we are paralyzed, but I probably wasn't going to attack with Scyther anyway. Instead, let's see, I've got a bill. Let's see if we can get in our Pokemon out of that. Hmm, Electabuzz. Well, that's better than nothing. Do I have any lightning in here? <sighs> I don't. And let's put a double colorless energy on Scyther. We'll just hope we don't get paralyzed again. Hitmonchan, Fighting Energy, Switch. And you kind of get an idea, especially with the Item Finder, I can just grab any trainers I want out of my discard pile pretty easily. Why this deck was so dominant back in the day. And like I said, this isn't even a perfect build by any means. One thing Isaac does have going for him is he keeps getting heads on that thunder wave. But, uh, oh, what the heck? Let me show you something else you can do. So we'll scoop up Hitmonchan, put Scyther in the arena, play down Hitmonchan. We lost the energy, but we still get to keep that, so let's put that on Hitmonchan. Retreat for free, and then we'll attack again with another jab to knock out Magnemite. And no paralysis this time. Good. So I could grab that Voltorb for another easy prize. Eh, why not? Well, that's it. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is going to be a short episode despite the fact that it has two battles in it. Special punch, and that's it. Yeah, so that deck is especially well suited, but it does pretty well against pretty much anything else the game can throw at it. Well, that's going to do it for Part 19. So now we have four of the eight Master Medals, four to go, and then uh, we'll see where things proceed from there. So thank you very much. This has been Stephen Reich with my playthrough of the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy. Bye!